Welcome brothers and sisters to this week's installment of Cannabis Infused Yoga. It's brought to you by Vape Exhale, Team Vape Exhale, the fine folks at Can Athlete, and of course, Chili Boo Genetics. This week we'll be joining Adrian once again for a 20 minute let it go flow. So, if things are kind of hectic, life's kind of stressing you out, take a little bit of time for yourself. I'll meet you on the mat, but first we're going to medicate with a little bit of headbanger. We use the Evo for that, as well. This is the 15th of November, so those folks that initiated the 100 day yoga challenge back on the 17th of August, congratulations, you're at day 90 today. Kudos to you. So let's get medicated and I'll see you on the mat. Bless up brothers and sisters, give thanks for the gift of the day. Let's get started. All right, my friends, let's begin in a nice, comfortable seat. Today's practice is about letting go, focusing on the physical sensations, but let's take a second to honor where we're at and just check in with the breath and notice how we feel. So sit up nice and tall, comfortable seat of your choice. Just get to a place where you can rest the hands gently on the knees or the thighs and find a little lift up through heart, the spine, the center line. And then trust the video, trust me, trust yourself, and just close your eyes for a moment or two. And begin to deepen the breath. And just notice how you feel. If you're a wreck, man, just expect, I'm a wreck right now. If you are angry, I am totally angry right now. Feeling sad, or you're a little distraught, whatever it is, just notice how you feel. And then acknowledge that. Accept where you are. And then ready, let's take a deep breath in together. And exhale, let it go. Exhale out through the mouth. Big inhale in through the nose. I choose to let it go. Big exhale out through the mouth. One more, just like that. Big inhale. Big, strong exhale to release. Great, let's begin with some neck circles. Drawing big circles with the nose. So now we're working to be present. What does it mean to be present, to practice presence? Take a few big breaths in and out through the nose or mouth, whatever feels good today, whatever feels supportive. And then after you've gone one way and then the other, maybe taking a second to nod the head yes and no, and come into a place of stillness, draw the hands to the heart, Anjali Mudra. From here on out, we're going to commit to being present in our body and with the breath, giving the thinking mind a little bit of a break, a little time off, and just allowing things to unfold, working to be really present again in the body and with the breath for today. Bow the head to the heart, big stretch in the back of the neck. Bowing the mind intelligence to the heart, to the body intelligence. Inhaling. And then exhale, let it go. Release the hands to the earth. Come to all fours. Take it into a couple cat cows here, moving with your breath. Close your eyes if you like. As you inhale, you drop the belly, and through the chest. And as you exhale, you round through the spine. Check your foundation here. Again, moving with intention, moving with your breath. Do one more. And then exhale back to neutral. Curl the toes under. Take a deep breath in. Strong foundation here, tops of the shoulders, finding that external rotation. And when you're ready, send the hips up high. Downward facing dog. Take your dog for a little walk here. Again, work to stay present. 
How are the legs doing today? Hug the lower ribs in. Keep awareness through the tops of the shoulders and press into all of your fingers, all of the knuckles. Breathe deep. Waking up the feet. And then here we go. We're going to step the right foot right behind the right hand. Left foot right behind the left hand. Take a second here to bend the knees and really relish in this forward fold. This can be a great place to come if you don't have time for a full let it go yoga practice. Come to a nice forward fold. Strong footing, grounded to the earth. And then take any movement here that feels good, whether it's shaking the head and neck again, grabbing the elbows, rocking a little side to side, bending the knees, feeling that lovely stretch in the lower back. And really focusing on that exhale today, whatever you need to let it go. And a fresh breath in. And exhale, choosing to let it go. Create some space. Here we go, rolling it all the way up to mountain. Take your time, slow as you can roll. As you roll up, pay attention to what's going on in the feet. Spread awareness through all four corners, and then find that lift up through that spine, the center channel once again. Coming into a nice mountain with the feet still wide, hip width apart. So strong footing here as you find a lift up through the front body and a nice grounding through the back body. So part of what Let It Go Yoga is all about for me is just really kind of giving the energetic system of the body some love too. So lift up through the front body, ground through the back body. And so with that said, we're going to do a little kundalini exercise that I love. This is in um, yoga camp I think, or one of the 30 days of yoga. Let's stand up nice and tall, and they call this knocking on heaven's door. Or in Qigong, it's referred to as knocking on the door of life. And so open the palms here. You can keep soft fingers, so you can bring them to fists. Yogi's choice, keep strong, putting a little soft bend in the knees, and you're going to swing side to side. This is one of my favorite ways Those to loosen up your spine. Again, I'm not locked in the knees. Soften the fingertips, or you can take the fists here. Keep it soft and easy. Keep that lift up through the chest. And then best you can, there's no right or wrong way to do this, connect to your breath. So it's a little exhale on each side or on one side. Maybe it's a little breath of fire. So just breathe. And you keep it going. And just about that moment, you're like, what the hell am I doing? It might be a drop in. Smile. Shake it off. There we go. Maybe you find a soft gaze here once you get the hang of it. And then to look at the video, maybe take your gaze down just past your nose. Stick with it. Don't give up. Don't give up on yourself. There are so many things that are out of your control, but there's one thing that is absolutely in your control, and it's you, <laughs> your thoughts, your energy, how you treat your body, how you use your thoughts, your energy, and your body. There you go. Oh. Ten more seconds. together, nice and slow, nice and slow, find grounding, bring the palms together at the heart. Take your eyes off the video, close them, or keep a soft gaze down, and notice how you feel. Keep breathing. Beautiful, soft knees, here we go, nice job everyone, inhale, reach for the sky. Interlace the fingertips, nice steeple grip here, so index finger pointing up. Deep breath in here, long in the torso as you exhale. Tilt to the right, bump the hips to the left. Inhale to center, ground through the feet. Exhale, tilt to the left, bump the hips to the right. Big stretch. Inhale, reach it up. Exhale, break free, let it go. Rain it down, have some fun, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift, your version. 
find length. And then on an exhale, take it all the way down. Inhale, reach for the sky, back the way you came, all the way up, 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 up. Exhale, hands to heart. Namaste. Namaste, we acknowledge the best version of ourselves, so, and, and in others too, so it's kind of perfect for the let it go. Namaste. You know, it's like sometimes when I come in contact with people that I just don't understand or something really bothers me. I used to get really angry, but it really disrupted me, and now I'm just like, <laughs> peace, namaste, right? Okay, soft knees, here we go. Inhale, reach for the sky. Interlace, steeple grip. Exhale, tilt to the right, hips to the left. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, strong footing, side body stretch. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, let it go. Forward fold, all the way down. Inhale, lifts you up halfway, your version, find length. Exhale, Uttanasana, extended forward fold. Great, this time bend the knees, plant the palms. We're not going to do a lot of these today, but just want to apply a little bit of that fire, that Agni. So stepping the right toes back, followed by the left, you come to the top of a push up here. You got this. Tend to your alignment here, stack the bones. So wrist underneath the shoulders, toes in line with the hip points, or together, yogi's choice. And careful not to let the hips sink here or the butt come up too high. See if you can refine. Try to find length from the crown to the tail. You're sitting bones to your heels. One more breath here. You got it. Great. Downward facing dog. Deep breath in. Big exhale to let it go. Great. Take a second here to refine. Hug the low ribs in. Find your foundation. Find support. And when you're ready, bend the right knee. Keep the left leg straight. Bend the right knee and then just play here. You might throw the right knee back and forth gently. You might notice if you start to crash into one hand, see if you can keep the weight even. And then switch, right heel down, bend the left knee, and then moving it, left knee in front of the right knee, maybe back, forth, and stay with it, stay committed here. And then release left heel down. Great, take a deep breath in. Exhale, out through the mouth. Good. Inhale, look up. Hop to the top or just repeat that step up from before. Right foot and left foot. Inhale, just see up halfway. Find length. Exhale, fold. Inhale, reach for the sky. Exhale, hands to heart. Namaste. Here we go. Inhale, reach it up. Interlace. Exhale to the right. Inhale to center. And up and over. Exhale to the left. Great. Inhale all the way up. Exhale all the way down. Get control. Inhale. Let's you up halfway. Long the neck. Exhale to fold. Great. Bend the knees. Plant the palms. Step or hop it back to plank. Move all the way down. Belly to cobra. Or take your chaturanga to upward facing dog. Yogi's choice. Take a deep breath in wherever you are here. Open your chest, open your heart. And then exhale all the way to your downward dog. You can take a child's pose here instead of downward dog. Three breaths. On this last, this third breath, take a deep breath in. And as you exhale, pretend you're like blowing out birthday candles. <laughs> Great. Drop the left heel. Inhale, lift the right leg up high. So if you're in child's pose, come on back up. And then we'll bend the right knee. Step it all the way up into the lunge. Find a nice low lunge here. You're welcome to lower that back knee. If you want to stay nice and low, you need a little more support. We're going to inhale, reach the arms all the way up and overhead. So you're in high lunge here with the knee lifted or knee is down on the earth. And here we go. We inhale in, exhale, palms come together and down at the heart. Ready? We're gathering it in, gathering that support. Inhale, reach it all the way up. Exhale, hands back down to the heart. Strong legs. Balance it out. One more time. Inhale, reach it up. Exhale, hands to the heart. Great. This time, take the chest, the sternum forward, belly comes to the top of the thigh. Again, you can be here. Breathe deep. Inhale in. Exhale, fly. Soar. Move past it. 
fingertips back, airplane arms for one big breath in and out. And release, awesome work. Plant the palms, step it back, move straight to down dog, or you can move through a flow here that feels good to you. So yogi's choice. We'll meet in down dog. Great work, everyone. From down dog, drop the right heel. And when you're ready, big inhale, lift the left leg up high. Exhale, bring it all the way into your lunge. Feel free to lower that back knee. Everyone, find your alignment, find your front ankle, squeeze the thighs together. And when you're ready, moving with the breath, inhale to reach it all the way up. So really focus on the sensation over the shape here. No need to be ready. We're trying to create a little space. Definitely a little heat. And when you're ready, hands come to the heart. Ready? Inhale, reach for the sky. Exhale, gather it. Namaste. Inhale, reach for the sky. And gather it. Let's do one more. Inhale, reach. And namaste. Keep the sternum lifting to the thumbs. You can just send it forward, pulling the left hip crease back, belly on the top of the thigh. Strong legs here, you got it. And then moving past whatever obstacle is, let's fly past over it. Sending the fingertips back, airplane arms, connecting to your power, your strength. Big breath in, big exhale out, and release. Awesome work. Plant the palms, step it back. Last chance for a little flow here. Feel free to skip it and just go straight to downward dog. In down dog, take a nice refreshing breath in. And now, shake the head a little. You will make your way back up to the top of your mat so you can hop, you can jump, you can float, you can dance. You can just step right up to the top. Forward fold. Inhale, lift you up halfway. Exhale, fold. Inhale, reach for the sky. Exhale, hands to heart. Close your eyes here and observe the breath. Great. Take a second to just notice how you feel from the soles of your feet, travel all the way up through your beautiful body, all the way up through the spine. Stand up nice and tall. And again, close your eyes and just blanket yourself in love here. Feel that vibration, that prana moving throughout your body. Notice where you're carrying your weights on your feet. And there's two mantras we're going to end with here in mountain pose today. So hopefully you can step off your mat. Feel a little refreshed, a little connected, a little relieved. And the first mantra is everything is as it should be. This acceptance. And the second one is one I've shared with the community before, is the one my mom gave to me. And it is the universe is for me, and so is everything else. The universe is for me, and so is everything else. So mantras may not be your thing, but I'm just uh, signing off with that today because I do feel like a lot of times our thoughts are working against us instead of for us. And so our yoga practice and the consciousness that we bring to both the mind and body with yoga can definitely assist us in letting it go. Gently bring the hands, the thumbs, right up to the third eye. May we all see the truth. Drop your thumbs, fingertips to the lips. May we all speak the truth. And right back down to the heart. May we always feel the truth. Thank you for sharing your time, your energy, and your practice. Namaste. Well, brothers and sisters, 
I hope you enjoyed that 20 minute Let It Go flow with Yoga with Adrian. As always, thank you for your time. I have much gratitude, peace, love, and blessings from all of us, and I'll see you next week. Namaste. Oh,